Hello, welcome to Mortinest. In this tutorial, I was going to answer a lot of questions that people asked me in the last uh, tutorial. That how did I able to own my fury like this? That his own is not showing on, that's off. So I'm going to tell you how to do that. Then again, someone from this picture, someone told me, sorry, from this. Um, this particular, I think this picture. Okay, I think it's from here. Yes, someone asked me the question that I was able to do through the sky and some of this background and also some of these templates. So I'm going to answer everything in this uh, tutorial. So stay tuned and watch. If you have not watched the previous one, if you used to have challenges, so take you can take get a take home from this place. So now let us go back. Now, there are some fashion of a uh, fury, maybe the laser version. You cannot be in 3D and uh, enable your fury. So, the best part I used to do is that I always be at the level of a uh, plan there before I own it. So, the moment you put on your fury, this is what we come from license server enable fury. Enable fury is what you need to click. You need to click enable fury. So when you click enable fury, it will not respond immediately. You allow it to wait. So everything we're going to be unanimous with the refit itself. You know, it's fury is a external engine that was incorporated into Revit. So you allow it to stay. Do not be in roster because it, it's not immediately you power it on. It will enable it's supposed to click and everything is supposed to come in place. No, it will not. It takes some time, some periods to so allow you to load. Be patient with it. Depends on the how powerful your machine is. So the moment it finishes, everything will come to normal. So all this gray area, everything will turn back to normal color, and you'll be able to work diligently on what you are working on. So that is how it flows. So wait patiently until everything it's set so it will take time so moment is set that enables aspect will be disappear you will not see them again so you are going to see this particular one so that is the reason why it does not matter you can be rendering and still continue working in a uh, in refit so because it's an external engine on its own it's a different software you have nothing to do with the the what's it called what you are doing with Revit it's just a external uh, plugin now the reason why you set your camera and know the camera you want to use that's the reason why i said it first that the current view it depends on what you want to do i have three cameras that have already been broken from 3d view and the same thing is being recognized here so the one you want to use is what i will recognize now let me say i will I change this uh, edit today i just put it to a shot okay so when you go back here now you're going to see the name has changed to shots so if you change this one the same thing like this now you change it to okay you name it cam you go back here so when you click here now you're going to see cam so if you click on cam which means this cam you want to use you want to render that's camera with that particular camera you want to render so that is that aspect for that area then you go back to your anyone let us go to sort i think it's sort we are using so as we are in the fury uh, bar i say that some hacks that most of the template uh, families how can they use them i said it clearly that this charles cosmos is an eastern is always come with the fury in a of a revit so you click on the cosmos you only enable if you have internet if you do not have access to internet or you not on your wi-fi to connect to your computer it will not load so you click on it the moment you have internet it will take you back home there and you are going to see a lot of what of family templates eb is very cool people cars whatsoever that you can be thinking of so 
or what you just need is that you download like moment you download this mark is going to show that okay this one is download this one is already in my system and this car and this particular car they are already there in my home so the one i needed if i need any one like bike i click download the moment you click download it will continue to load for you the moment it load finish it will show you mark that okay this particular bike is being downloaded so that is how you change material and the moment you get it finished let me just bring one of what out you want like these people like this vehicle now now look at it so like this vehicle the one i've been i've downloaded is this uh let me say okay this suv in this SUV, you cannot click and drag. All what you just need is to click this uh, load upload arrow. So you click on upload arrow, it's going to start loading. It will allow it will load successfully. Look at it now. It's being recognized. So by the time you put it on the on your uh, project, it will be there. Just click, it's being recognized and it's there already. So as you do, press escape. Press escape again, click close this so you don't need cosmos again because you've already gotten the template. So you can change this one to your foundation because I want it to be in that foundation aspect. Then you go to the foundation itself and go and arrange it so that the camera will be able to capture it effectively. So that is that for that. So go back to the shots. Can you see? So it purposely places itself where it's supposed to be. That is how you use and this particular one is family from Revit. The one being downloaded from Revit, you can download anything from internet and get it done. Now, the another question about this uh, sky, that the sky and the background is not because now this guy that you are seeing is an image which I downloaded. So I just place it there. All these three you are seeing are the three that you've seen in Revit. So if you want to do that one, I've already done family tree. I will place that in the how you position your uh, trees in camera. So those are those things have been done in the some some of the tutorial I've done. So check it and you see some of the projects I've done before. That's why you need to check it page watch video each one of them one after the other now if you want to from the theory if you want to do what put the uh, image that you have downloaded like i have this sky on my desktop is what i downloaded then so i always use this sky particular sky because i fall in love with it it's what i always use to do most of my projects so what you just need to do is that at the point not rendering yet at the point of what of a very sun that is where you are going to change this so you click on this particular uh, and say very sun so it was the one because that light that environmental light will enable that area to come into place so what you do is that you say background that is where you do custom you customize your background so if it tells you that there is image if you have done it in Revit, you can use Revit, something you have done background Revit that you have already set in the Revit before. But if you want to completely use, do away with Revit and you want to use only the one you, you have in Fury, this is how you do that. So, leave the sky alone. The normal sky that Revit has does not too much uh, have that kind of uh, reflectivity. So, what you do here is that you click on this particular image title. And you search for where you keep your image so i want to use my desktop so sky is what i use so i click on sky i say open it's already there you don't need to argue with anything it's already there you cannot see and preview it here can you see so it's being signified and because you are using spherical it's already wrapped around you are not using screen it's already wrapped around so i'm going to test render for you to see what you are missing so close it as it's in being here now you click on what on render render production now before you even render let me show you most of these are revit uh, can you see they are all revit uh, uh, family templates the one that belong to this cosmos you are going to see them from the property line here can you see cosmos grass cosmos uh, cosmos potted palm 
cosmos, everything that belongs to cosmos, they are going to assemble themselves in one area. So at the moment you bring them inside here. So, but these particular ones are natural ones. So if you want to bring a tree at the background of this one, what you just need to do is to click on the foundation. One of these is okay for you. Just click on it and say create similar. And here you say what? Duplicate. In the duplicate you do say, you can just say number two. So then you change this one to the bigger height. Let's say I want to use like 6,000. I want it to be big. So you go to render appearance. So that particular appearance is with me. If you don't want to use and if you want to use another one, you can choose any one from here. All these ones, all these ones are Revit set. So let me just use this traveler pan so that you know that okay, it's different from that particular one. So I'm using traveler pan. You see that it's more bigger. Then you set it where the camera can capture captured it. So like that. So if you go back to sort, can your camera see? Can you see they are there? So if they are not big enough for you, you click on them and you say edit. You change the height to let's say nine. Let's say eight fifty. That is the height. Say okay. So you see that the big. So you can decide to change them again. That okay, you don't want the appearance. You want different appearance by changing it from here and say okay, uh, this particular uh, wind me is what you want to use. Click on it and say okay. Can you see it automatically changed? So from here now you can render. When you render your view, you have a solution to what you are having. So sometimes. You may not you may be here and the thing giving you issue because it's only this fashion that enable 3d view to render sometimes you need to be in a level only what you don't need that your camera your the rendering camera it need to be well specified that this is the camera you are use, using to render so when you click on it even though you are on this uh, plan uh, ground floor plan it will render for you so let us render so click on this to render production and see what I'm talking about. I will not use my time to dwell on the rendering of a theory. So just want to test render for you. You are the one who is going to save everything by yourself. So let it enable this building up. So what I've done here, can you see it simply means here is that the two of that is too large it's definitely you know what i'm saying Hope you are so this is the sky is miracle but that the image edits this in what you want to do so let me about this one now for now about let me close it so now go to if you have uh, any image editing software in your in your what is it called in your machine all you just need is that you click on a Photoshop like mine. Now I have Photoshop that I want to use, like this guy is here for for it. So what I need to do is that I want to use this uh, capturing moment. Go to your cam, your sort. So click, go to this place. What is this one say? This one is saying the dimension is what? The dimension is 939 by 600. So you can go to Photoshop and create something like that. Say okay open new so you just choose your your initiative what was the dimension talking about nine in other words when you click on it it's using the region that he has created what is the region the percent this is the width which is 939 the height is what the height is 900 so you go back here in your so you say height of what height of height of a 600 but you have width of what of 9 939 sorry you have height of 939 939 and you say okay so from there you can drag that image by say click open i want to bring in that sky click and say open 
from here now you just drag that this particular drag it here and say close you can close this one since you don't need them again so since in being here what you need now is that you you bring this close good so it's going to capture every moment of this guy in what you are doing now so you click and say finish apply so you go back here to save us you can do now sky png then use this sky but i want to use sky 2 because i want to retain this guy sky 2 so save okay now go back to to this close this one and you say come to uh, some very so here is using <laughs> light intensity of a sky is another issue but leave it for that you can say um, background as we have said before click on background you click on background and come here and say sky 2 sky 2 is okay so the brightness you can adjust it or reduce it, it depends on what you want to do so preview it again i think it will go a long way with this now because the width and the height are almost the same proportion so now test render and see whether what you have done